Yep, I made this monstrosity. G'day everyone, this is Koala and welcome back to another video. Today we will be messing around with the level editor in the Chinese version of Plants vs Zombies 2. I'll also be showing you around the editor so if you ever want to use it for yourself, you know how to navigate it, despite the obviously non-English text. I've always been more of a creative person and I've loved playing games like Super Mario Maker in the past. So when I found out that there was an official Plants vs Zombies 2 level editor, I was blown away. Let's jump straight into it. To start off, we need to beat Pirate Seas Day 6 to unlock the level editor, which I've already done thanks to some convenient video editing magic. We're gonna head on down to the trophy icon in the bottom right and then press the button with the spanner and the controller. We're now in the level editor. This screen here shows the levels you've made. As you can see, I've been playing around with it quite a bit. Tap on the big plus and we'll be taken to a selection screen asking us which kind of level we want to make. You'll only really need to use the first two, the first one being an ordinary level where you choose your plants, and the second one being a conveyor belt level. Let's dive into a regular level. Here we have the zombie selection menu. Each of the columns labelled 1, 2, 3 and so on are the waves. To add zombies we just click on one of the purple zombie icons in the respective wave we want to edit. Now that we're inside of wave 1 we can see each of the 5 rows. The rows correspond to each of the 5 rows of the lawn. Placing a zombie further to the right or left of the row means it will either come first or last in the wave. To select our zombies we can use the menu up the top here. To find the zombies we want we press the button to the left where we can navigate between the worlds of the zombies. Let's get some dark ages zombies in here. Let's put a knight in the top row, the middle row and the bottom row. And then we'll put some wizards behind the knights so the knights can block the incoming attacks from the plants. That's going to be a chaotic first wave. You may notice the numbers on the zombie icons. This just means that they're level 1. You can change their strength by increasing their levels or you can decrease their strength by decreasing their level. Tapping the green button on top of the wave adds a plant food to a random zombie in the wave. Plant food does look a bit different in this version but it still works the same. Let's add a second wave, shall we? By clicking the button underneath the waves we can add an ambush like sandstorm, snowstorm and bot swarm. Let's add a parachute rain to suit the lost city theme of this second wave. Time for the third wave. Let's add a time rift as the ambush for this one. We can choose what world it spawns zombies from and whereabouts on the lawn it will appear. With the zombies done, let's head on over to the plant side. To lock in plants, we can press the seed packets and add compulsory plants that the player must use. Similarly, we can ban plants with the button at the bottom of the screen. Let's force the player to use Pea Shooter and Sunflower, and then we'll ban a handful of plants. We can change the world we play in by pressing the world changing button to the bottom right of the lawn. Why not make it Neon Mixtape Tour? Clicking on tiles in the grid brings us to this menu. Here we can add items, hazards and pre-plant plants on the lawn. Let's edit our sun so we start with 1000 sun. Okay, so the level is now ready. Let's give it a try. We can choose any plant in the game, isn't that nice? Okay, so maybe that wasn't such a great level. 
Luckily, I've made some actually serious levels. Let's have a look at them. This big wave beach level starts us off with two columns of banana launchers. But there's a catch. The conveyor belt will only give us stalling plants so they can't be used to damage the zombies. This means we'll have to protect these banana launchers or else it's game over. Uh oh, we better take out these Octo Zombies quickly or they'll wrap their octopi around our only banana launchers. Luckily, we can use one of our banana launchers to free the other banana launcher from its octopus. We have to be careful though how many bananas we launch, because the zombies are starting to stack up. Let's use our stalling plants to give us some time to let the bananas recharge. Wow, here come a lot of Octo Zombies. This is tough. And now a Gargantua! That's a lot of fishermen zombies and octo zombies. Our banana launches are running low, this will be close. My next level is an Ancient Egypt level, with all of our plants chosen for us. Two hundred sun to start, that's pretty generous. You may notice the only plants we can use to take out the zombies are Chomper, Hypnoshroom and Chili Bean. All of these are useless against the Explorer Zombies. We'll have to use the Iceberg Lettuce and Hurricane on every Explorer Zombie if we want to survive. Let's stun one of the Explorers by using a Chili Bean on a Zombie in front of it, to give us some time while our Frozen Plants reload. That looks like trouble. We'll have to freeze all of them or else they'll wipe out our whole lawn of all the plants. Just in time. So I had this funny idea for our last level. I realized you can use chickens on their own as zombies, so I placed some potions and the rest was history.
It really is a shame that this will probably never be recreated in the international version of Plants vs Zombies 2. I'm really impressed with the quality of this feature, especially since some of the other exclusives in Plants vs Zombies 2 China are either rushed and unfinished or extremely glitchy. Popcap, if you're listening for some reason, it would be very cool if you added this. Maybe? Possibly? Please? Thanks to everyone who's watched till the end. I just wanted to end with a big thanks to everyone who's been checking out my channel recently. The amount of support on my last video was unprecedented, and I can't thank you all enough for coming along and enjoying a lot of my other videos too. I'm determined to keep making quality Plants vs Zombies 2 content for you all, so I'll see you next time.